Hello Guru Nation, welcome back. So yesterday, or a few days ago actually, I did a video on what clinical research sites should be doing right now um, during this coronavirus semi-lockdown. I mean, at the time of this video, it's May 18th. Uh, more and more states are opening up. California, where I'm at, is finally showing signs that it's gonna open up again. So th these are three things that I think uh, either furloughed CRAs or furloughed coordinators could be doing. Um, and you, you can even apply it to people that are not furloughed or laid off, but definitely applies to the furloughed and laid off ones. So number one, what you should be doing, beef up your LinkedIn profile. All right, you gotta watch the videos I did with Ashley Margo. Uh, if you want, join my Patreon channel. We get tips on how to use LinkedIn all the time, what to post, what kind of content works. If you're not worried about creating content right now, like like you shouldn't really worry about that. First thing you should actually do on LinkedIn is tweak your profile. Most people's profile are outdated and need updated. So you gotta update your skills, you gotta update the capabilities, not just your job responsibilities, but I'm talking about everything that you've done in the past. Really try to hone in on the fact that you are a generalist. Hopefully you have multiple skills in research and not just not just simply what your job requirements were. So that's the first thing I would do. The second thing I would do um, is clinicaltrials.gov. I would be going on clinicaltrials.gov and you can actually integrate this with the first one. You can link to your LinkedIn profile. And so you talk to people on clinicaltrials.gov from sponsors or from CROs. Now remember, I what, what we're seeing during this layoffs and furloughs, the ones that are happening, is that usually the person that gets furloughed or laid off gets hired by a higher tier organization than what they previously worked for. So if you worked at a site, but your dream has always been to be a CRA, CRO might wanna hire you right now. Or if you worked for a CRO as a CRA and you've always dreamed of working for a pharmaceutical company or a sponsor, those might hire you. We've actually seen a lot of that, a lot of those scenarios play out over these last few months. So that's the second thing you should be doing is going on clinicaltrials.gov, really researching what who that company is, what studies do they have, not just mass emailing, although that can work too but really thoughtful emails. Hey, I noticed this is what your company does. These are my areas of expertise. If you really want to work at a particular company and you're lacking expertise in a therapeutic indication, Coursera will work really good for you. You can find courses on Coursera, on EDX, just Google. There's other platforms, Google courses for those kind of things. Uh, also, learn more about virtual trials and how to use systems uh, for virtual trials. So I guess that's technically number three, is building your skills, increasing your expertise. So those are the three things you should be doing right now if you've been a furloughed or laid off CRC, CRA, or anything else in research. Uh, and by the way, everyone should be doing these things anyways if you wanna keep growing your career. Maybe not reaching out to people on clinicaltrials.gov, but certainly number one, creating and beefing up your LinkedIn profile. And number three, building your capabilities. And then you gotta reflect all that in your resume, of course, but also your LinkedIn profile. So those are the three things you should be doing. Good luck, talk to y'all later, bye-bye.